My name is Jennifer Purdy, and I'm going to show you how to help your third graders use their head voices and sing simple forms of harmony. You'll be doing these activities right along with me, so swallow, clear your throat, <clears throat> do a big yawn, stand or sit tall, and get ready to sing along with me. The third grade standard reads, identify and perform simple forms of harmony, such as an ostinato, call and response, and two-part rounds with appropriate head voice. What is a head voice? Let's start by exploring what your head voice sounds like and feels like. Most people talk right here in their very comfortable chest voice, but for children, that is not the best place for them to sing. In your speaking voice, say, this is my chest voice. When I speak like this, I can feel the vibrations in my chest and neck. Now try talking like this and feel the sound resonate through your head. Say, when I talk like this, the sound resonates through all the lovely spaces in my face, my mouth, my sinuses, my nasal cavity. When children use their head voices to sing, the tone is clear, high, and light. That's the way children should sound when they're singing. When children are singing in their chest voices, they'll push and strain to hit higher notes, they'll tighten up, and they'll have a very limited singing range. So now let's go through a few examples of ways children can experience singing harmony using their head voices. One form is a call and response song. Call and response songs are when one person or group sings a phrase and another person or group echoes them or answers with a contrasting phrase. The song Down by the Bay is an example of a call and response echo song. So echo me. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, all together. Did you ever see a cat wearing a hat down by the bay? That was an example of a call and response song. Notice that we maintained a steady beat throughout. Another form of harmony incorporates the use of ostinato. An ostinato is simply a repeated phrase. So let's sing the first phrase from the farmer in the dell as an ostinato. Sing with me. The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Now sing that phrase as an ostinato as I sing the entire song, the farmer in the dell. Maintain the same steady beat. Watch me so we end at the same time. I'll get you started. The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Keep going. The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Hi-ho, the dairy-ho, the farmer in the dell. Let's assess. Did you watch my conducting and maintain a steady beat? Did you hear the parts where we were singing different pitches, but they sounded beautiful together? Yes. Then you successfully experienced harmony through singing an ostinato. You can use ostinatos like that in any song that is sung as a round. So now let's finish up by learning some tips for teaching and singing a round. A round is a song where everyone is singing the same song simultaneously, but starting at different times. One easy way to start teaching a round is to have each group take one phrase and sing it over and over as an ostinato. So instead of one ostinato, you will have three or four. Layer in each group so they have the opportunity to hear harmony occur as all the parts are sung at once, but they only have to remember their one phrase. For the song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, there would be four ostinato groups. Group one would sing, Row, row, row your boat, row, row, row your boat. Group two would sing, Gently down the stream, gently down the stream, gently down the stream. Group three would sing, Merrily, 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 merrily. And group four would sing, Life is but a dream, life is but a dream, life is but a dream. Another strategy for teaching rounds is to record the students singing the entire song. Then as you play the recording, have the students 
come in on the second phrase and sing with the recording. Finally, once students can confidently and independently sing the entire song, you can divide them into two, three, or four groups that will sing the whole song, beginning at the point specified in the music. Singing around takes an intrinsic sense of the beat and careful listening on the part of the singers. Proficient students will sing in tune, use their head voice, stay on the beat with the rest of the singers by listening carefully and following the conductor. My students love the experience of singing in harmony, and I think yours will too. For additional information, you can visit the Learning First system in Canvas or the Fine Arts channel in the third grade team folder.